I'd like to say a special welcome to our senior leadership team that's made this conference uh, possible. So we have a doctoral college fund in the um, university, in the Faculty of Business, Business and Law, and students, PhD students can apply for that fund to go and attend a conference somewhere. So I uh, talked to the head of uh, research students and said, well, uh, can, is it possible to ask for some money to actually run a conference in the university? And this is all coming off the back of uh, the research that I've been doing. And thankfully, uh, that, has, that was funded. Just a little bit about uh, my research, and I'll try to say it in less than three minutes. I, after I did a three minutes thesis a couple of weeks ago and I won second place. <laughs> so my research is looking at uh, migrant, highly skilled migrant women and career mobility in public sector organizations in the UK. While I was doing my literature review and doing the interviews, I found that there was very little out there that actually put the word migrant or highly skilled migrant with a leadership on the other side. So with that in, in mind, having conversations with the participants and a lot of other uh, women that came along that we it's uh, happy to see this week happening, I thought part of the dissemination of this work that I've done would be not to just keep myself and get my PhD and certificates and get on with my life, but start something that where we'll have um, open conversation around issues that we may experience and share strategies on how as highly skilled migrant women, we can move forward. However, we can't do that on our own. We need other people to help us so that hence this conference is for everybody that uh, would be interested in sharing, in learning, in understanding. And from when we started organizing it in October to now, there has been so much that has happened. I can't say it all here because it, uh, it will take me the whole day to say that. Um, our senior advisors that have been supporting this, I mentioned Dr. Adam Fishwick, uh, Professor Jonathan Payne, Dr. Henry Mumbi, who's my first supervisor, Professor Jo Richardson, who's not here today because she's got uh, she's got to be in London for something, but she sent her greetings and thanked everybody for joining us. Dr. Sean Colladay, Dr. Neva Muspa, who's another two of my other supervisors, Dr. Chibuzo Ejogo, who's our head uh, institute head of um, research students, Dr. Amarachi Amalgo, who's one of the senior lecturers. Uh, Mrs. Regina Condola, who's based in, in Belgium, and she's been very, very supportive, and uh, Ms. Savi Jayawira, and Ms. Yasmin Ali. The day is fairly straightforward. You should all have received your uh, program because you're here, uh, because the, the links are in the program, but I will share it in the chat as well in a few minutes. But as I said, we are recording. We'll have... Um, three breaks, two very short ones and uh, one longer one for lunch. Please, please, please participate, engage. This is your day. Whatever we're going to share is going to be very, very useful, not just for us who are here, but for other people who couldn't make it as well. So without further ado, I have mentioned already uh, Professor Jonathan Payne. He's gonna give us a few words before he invites our first speaker. Thank you, Jonathan. Over to you. Thank you, Amina. Well, first of all, a very, very good morning to everyone today. Uh, it's a very great honour for me to welcome you all to today's conference. As Amina's just said, I'm the director of the People, Organisations and Work Institute, or POWI for short, and Amina is one of our doctoral students. I just want to say a bit about our institute, first of all. Um, the core focus uh, is, broadly speaking, research examining the changing nature of work and management in contemporary organisations in a global context. We've got a number of core research themes in POWI, including skills and leadership in organisations. And I'd like to encourage you all to visit our website and find out more about all the brilliant and exciting research that our members and our doctoral students are engaged in, which I don't have time to go through today. 
However, as Amina's alluded to, you will hear from several of our uh, members and also our students who are here today presenting or as panelists. As an institute, PAWI is centrally concerned with issues of equality and social justice. And as part of that, the intersectionality of race, gender and class, both inside contemporary organisations and in the wider labour market. So fairness is very central to what we are about and what we are interested in as researchers and as students. Uh, several of our research projects, as well as those of our doctoral students, address the issue of migrant labour and refugees. The barriers, the struggles, the difficulties that they face, and what can be done to integrate them into society and make the most of their talents. It's interesting, I, I'm just reading John Steinbeck's classic the Grapes of Wrath again, which I read as a student some 30 years ago. And it's obviously, for those of you who know it, it's about the American Dust Bowl and the plight of migrants in Oklahoma and California's fruit picking fields. It's as relevant today, I think, as it was then. These issues don't go away. But while a lot of research is focused on the issue of migrant exploitation, and exposure to bad jobs, which is very important. The migrant worker is made up of any number of individuals with different backgrounds, experiences, and skill levels. And they do not fit easily into any single box or stereotype. So today's conference on high-skilled migrant women is highly topical and it's relevant because it speaks to a particular subgroup of migrants and their experiences in accessing the labor market and in their struggles for recognition, status and progression inside contemporary organizations and workplaces. I particularly like the panel on the role of men, um, that how they can play a role in supporting high skilled women's aspirations and while women are certainly not dependent on us men to realize their aspirations, this speaks to going beyond an us and them gender divide. So I, I really do want to say a huge thank you on behalf of Powie to Amina for organizing today's event. I was flicking through the program and the speakers this week, and it's really incredibly impressive. Uh, so I hope you've all had your Weetabix because there's a lot to think about and a lot to discuss today, and I'm sure you, you will enjoy it. I think it's even more impressive when you consider that this has been led by one of Powell's doctoral students with the help of a team of, of other doctoral students and, and academics. I certainly cannot recall a conference of this nature being organized by doctoral students before. So this is a conference for doctoral students, by doctoral students, and for postdoctoral researchers and academics. And it's global in its focus and in its reach. And it's also a fantastic networking opportunity. So really very well done, Amina, very impressive. Um, last but not least, I want to introduce our first keynote speaker of the day, Professor Udi Archibald. Pro Vice Chancellor of Equality, Diversity and Inclusion at the University of Bradford. Professor Archibong will be speaking about navigating multiple identities, career upward mobility and organisational leadership. And that will be a central theme within today's proceedings. Uh, Udi requires little introduction from me, as you can see from her profile attached to the program. She has a background in nursing in Africa and she was the first ever UK professor of diversity with a cross-disciplinary and institutional portfolio. And she was awarded an MBE in 2015 for her contribution to higher education and equality. 
Udi is also a widely published academic. She's a thought leader in the field of equality, diversity and inclusion. And she draws on over 30 years of personal and practical experience in the health and higher education sectors. So we really could not wish for a better speaker to open today's conference. And it's a very great pleasure for me to welcome you on behalf of everyone, Udi, and to thank you for giving up your time and being with us on this Saturday morning. And I want to just end by wishing everyone a very, very fruitful and interesting day. So, Udi, the floor is yours. Thank you.